Hey guys, Swader here, and today I'm going to briefly talk about Kusama Network. So you may have heard of Polkadot, which is the next generation blockchain that's going to have heterogeneous shards, so different blockchains connected, connected to each other, communicating and basically composing multi-blockchain multi applications through one common system. So that's Polkadot. And that's something that's being developed by the Web3 Foundation. But there's also a Kusama network, and this is kind of like a sister network to Polkadot that a lot of people consider the testnet of Polkadot. And they, they frequently ask me, like, why would I care about it? Why would I care about a testnet? Why, um, why would a testnet even have economic value? And Kusama actually does. So why, why should we take it seriously? Why, why not as just another testnet? Well, the difference is that Kusama is actually Polkadot's canary network and um, maybe the term testnet is a bit of a misnomer here and a bit misleading because um, test implies something um, that's ready to be thrown away after being tested as in software development but um, canary network uh, or maybe maybe a better name is an experimental network an experinet uh, Kusama is actually an experimental network which will get upgrades sooner than Polkadot. It'll get these uh, cutting-edge upgrades that are, may or may not come to Polkadot eventually. It'll host edgier apps that maybe don't have a home uh, on the more conservative and, and slower to progress Polkadot network that's going to be more oriented to governments, enterprises and uh, big companies or big projects and so on. So Kusama is kind of like this cypherpunk's paradise where basically anything is allowed as long as it's, well, not blocked by the council of the network, the on-chain governance or the logic of the chain itself. Uh, Kusama is in fact a, uh, it is like a testing ground, like an experimental ground, like an, a ground to um, run experiments on, to, to try out new modules, to try out new subsystems, to try out new economic uh, incentives and so on to test attacks that you come up with, to uh, see how the economics of validation perform and so on. But it is very much a real network that will stick around, that will not disappear once Polkadot launches its mainnet, and that will actually host many live projects to come um, without actually ever evicting them or uh, resetting the network uh, as it, as, as things tend to happen in regular testnets. So Kusama basically is a alpha release of Polkadot, but an alpha release that never goes out of date. Uh, it's kind of like uh, when you have a website, you have a staging environment and a real environment and a development environment. So in the development environment, you develop for it and you test your upgrades and you see if it all works locally on your computer. Then to test it live on, on a live database of some sort, you deploy it to the staging environment where everybody else can also test it, check it out and so on. And then if it's fine in the staging environment, it graduates, these features graduate to the mainnet. Now in Kusama versus Polkadot, this is uh, also like a um, three-tiered approach. We have the West End testnet, which is the actual testnet of Kusama. We have Kusama, which is the staging, the environment in which upgrades are deployed and they stick around. They are never reset, but they are um, scrutinized and modified and tweaked so that they match the Polkadot mainnet uh, better. Like um, they, they do for Polkadot what Polkadot wants them to do. And then they are moved on to Polkadot. Um, but that doesn't mean that they are removed from Kusama ever or that Kusama um, has, uh, has logic that disappears once it's deployed to Polkadot. It, it, it always sticks around, it's always there, and it will always provide these cutting-edge upgrades much, much sooner than they reach the Polkadot mainnet. So I hope this brief overview of what Kusama is and what its purpose is has been helpful in clearing up some misconceptions. Um, Please stay tuned for some more Kusama videos on both how to develop for it, how to interact with it, and also how to uh, scan the entire network for events, transactions, and other things that you may be interested in. 